12th century building is expected to reopen at the end of the week, but visitors still have access to the grounds. The Ashford College has today opened its doors to the first intake of students at its new campus. The £26 million site offers vocational courses in subjects including photography and fashion. Ashford Borough Council hopes it will help improve employment opportunities in the area. And a multi-million pound project to improve ledger facilities in Dover has been given the go-ahead. The current 40-year-old site will be replaced with a £26 million development. Its construction will begin this month with an opening date of 2019. Philip Drew is coming next with your weather. Looks like we're in for a warm snap. P&O Dover Calais Ferries sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. Hello there. Well, our first named storm of autumn 2017 is on the way, going by the name of Aileen. But back to this afternoon, it's looking fairly benign by comparison. Bright, a smattering of showers, certainly fairly breezy, and that will take the edge off of the temperatures. Now, it's through this evening and overnight where the winds will really pick up in association with that storm. Rain sweeping its way quickly eastwards, accompanied by strong winds, gale force gusts around the coast, potentially causing some localised disruption. Nevertheless, temperatures holding up in double figures, and that's how we pick things up tomorrow morning. A windy start from the word go, but bright, a smattering of showers, a little change through the day. Staying bright, staying very windy though. Take care. P&O Dover Calais Ferries sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. So don't wear a hat. If you're free at six o'clock this evening, do join Fred and Sagita. They'll be here bringing you more of the day's news. But for now, more of us here this lunchtime. Do enjoy your afternoon. Bye bye. <laughs>